Hey everyone, it's Ellen and welcome to my channel. So it's that time of year and we're getting full into fall soon and the leaves are changing color and the weather is getting colder. Yep, the crispy fall days. So I thought we'd paint some birch trees. But we're not going to paint them in the normal way. Nope, we're going to do something fun and different today. We are going to paint these birch trees using a old credit card. Yep. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Let me know if you're having difficulty painting some trees. Also, check out my Patreon. Um, I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. You know, it's just like extra content over there on Patreon. So, without further ado, grab your old credit card. You know, let's get painting because this is going to be so much fun. So to do this simple technique, you're going to need um, some, well, watercolor paper, um, but kind of a flat kind of watercolor paper, maybe more of a um, hot press. This is 100% cotton from Strathmore. This is the, um, the watercolor travel pad, it's acid free and cold press, um, but it's a little more flatter than the Arsh paper. You will need an old credit card and some decent, like, Payne's Gray or Nuzu Tint paint. I'm just kind of watered it down a little bit. And you just take the credit card, right? You, can, you water this down. You kind of just tap it on the edge here. Always have paper towel close by, the, close by, by the way. See, I'm just tapping it kind of like this. And you're just going to take this and kind of push it like this. Just here and push it like a little bit like this. And you get this like automatic birch tree. Right like that, like that. And then you can flip it over on the other side. Look at that. It's such a cool little trick. You know, it looks real and you can just do the little branches coming off. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy and fun. Just tapping it into the the loose paint right with your credit card I mean who to thunk right simple technique it has that already kind of like separates the paint just like a natural birch tree so here you're kind of just playing going up and down I wouldn't just go straight up and down you kind of maybe have some kind of curving and have some skinny ones See, this one's kind of curving. And you just kind of fill up. And you're just tapping. Well, that one doesn't have much on there, so. You can, if you have to turn the paper, do that. Turn the paper. When you finish the first line, it might be a lot easier. See, I'm turning the paper. You can go right off the page. And again, add the branches. little branches and then you keep turning it see the branches <laughs> once you kind of fill this whole thing in then we can add the beautiful fall leaves the colors we we'll just go around and play with this first I just think it's so much fun like you know once it starts getting too loose and watery you can add a little more paint right out of the tube I'm going to go back in here and tap it a little more. See what happens. You need it loose and you need some that's right out of the tube. Just like this. And I'm going to keep turning my paper. See, now this one's going to be behind this one. I have some nice skinny ones. Like I said, I'm making variety. And they're all kind of leaning this way. But I can make some leaning kind of back the other way too. See? I'm going to go back in here. Isn't this fun? Just an old credit card creating this really kind of funky, simple birch tree. This is perfect for getting out of the funk and learning some fun techniques. Look at that. 
And I start to get a little bit bigger ones. You can do some bigger ones again. All right, we're gonna fill up our page with our trees. Now, I would suggest that you don't have to do the whole paper. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. But maybe not fill everything up. Maybe leave some space, like maybe you leave a space here at this point, and then just put one down here to finish off the paper. Because then it gets just like, okay, birch tea, birch tea, birch tea, birch tea, birch tea, birch tea, birch tea. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That one's kind of curving that way and it's a little skinny and make it a little bit fatter on the side. I just like this technique. It's a lot of fun. And then you add some branches again. Just like that. Now if you've missed some spots that you don't like, they're not, they don't cover enough, you could go with the brush or you could just go back in with your credit card and fill it in. But I like the expressive nature of the way the credit card kind of just put those little marks from the bird tree in. You can add, see I'm grabbing the thicker paint and you can make some bigger marks if you want to. Not necessary. It's kind of fun to paint with a credit card. This one seems a little too light here. All right, once we finish this, we feel like you like it enough, we'll get into the leaves. So for leaves, we can have leaves on the bottom here and on the top. And we can use a big brush, like a Princeton 12 Neptune series. And you're just going to get some nice, loose yellow paint. I've got some yellow, cabin yellow deep. I've got some red here. I'll mix it in with to create a nice orange. Take that same orange and add more yellow to it yellow orange you know and then we're gonna have some like, greens it's always good to have the greens in there as well so I've used peacock blue and I'll grab some yellow make a nice light green and use that same green here and I'll add Prussian blue make it a dark green and then we've got browns already here we can just play around with grab them with our brush while they're loose I have burnt umber here I have burnt sienna here get those loose as well and then it's just a bunch of like you know, tapping the color and then tapping color on, con on, on the top of color. So the wet and wet technique. So I'm going to loose up some, loosen up some of this yellow. I have my paper towel close by. I'm just going to tap, tap. Now you could kind of splatter if you want, but just really just kind of loosely go with the tap. Start with the yellow. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just kind of playing around. This is really simple. You can get really technical if you want to as you go through it if you want to make leaves look realistic but we're just doing this a, a quick little exercise and painting some fall foliage and some birch trees and grab some yellow uh, orange while you're in there see how that bleeds nice now this paper isn't the best for wet on wet i would say but it's good for that birch tree so it's kind of a catch-22 of this one you know like you can't get you can't win it both ways. I tried the technique on the um, the arch paper and it just didn't do it. So now what you're doing on top, you kind of want to do on the bottom. Kind of mirror it. But you're going to have some green in here too. Alright, so I'm going to grab some green. If you want to just kind of put the green in here like this first and then start adding in. Some dark greens, some browns. See how I'm just tapping in some blue. Ooh, that was peacock blue. Very bright. <laughs> just kind of go like this, really quick. That's so why I like the big brush. It forces you to get a little loose. I tap in some more browns. I'm just kind of dabbing off my brush like this. I'm not actually quick taking it and putting it in the water. Going back and grabbing the yellow. You know, I can grab the dark green, have some Prussian blue, kind of put that in there, get it even darker. It's kind of how I'm going to do the bottom. And I kind of want the leaves like they're f like falling down, so put some leaves up in here. It can be kind of falling like this, like they're falling down. And it's a windy day. Grab some orange. 
I'm gonna put some orange up here while it's still damp. It's layering, kind of sticking up this, tapping the orange, yellow orange in here. Just grab that orange that you made, tap that in, pick some red, even like this magenta color right in here. Magenta with a little brown, a brown sienna. Kind of tap that in. Don't be afraid to play some, put some color in there. Look how simple this is. I mean, this is really quick. If you're just starting out, you're a beginner and you want to play birch trees and you're like, this is like super beginner, but then it's also something that a advanced person can do and just be a little more creative. Now, we have it kind of just very white on the trees. We're going to go back in and get a little more advanced by adding in some shadows. I don't want to do that first because I want to put the yellows in. See, I'm just kind of tip tapping with my brush, big old brush here. And then I'm going to grab some of this reddish yellow color. Sorry, yellow orange color. And then do the same thing down the bottom. Don't want to go too crazy, but it's nice. That's getting a little too brown, so I'm going to go back in and add some just bright yellow. Super simple. This will take you like under 10 minutes to do this. So if you're in a rush to make like a cute card, you know, with somebody, this is like the perfect thing to do. Grab me some of that deeper red and some brown. In here. Mixture of the colors. A little more orange tones. Yellow orange. Kind of floating. And add a little green up in there too. Some green. Oop, that's a little too dark. Makes it a little more realistic when you put the green in there. You don't want it just yellow and orange because you want the leaves to look like they're turning color. So you put the green in there too. That's why I put it down here also. Of course the ground is down there too. So I've got some brown, some deeper green. Just like that. Voila! Also, don't be afraid to like do some splattering, which is kind of cool, more free flowing. Same thing on the bottom. You know I love my splatter. Just gets a little more expressionistic. Even with the green, splatter that. It's super fun and more expressionist, expression, expressionistic. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. I dare you. <laughs> All right, put that green in there too. Just look at that, it's so cool. And orange. I mean, it, you know, equal opportunity color. All right, once that's done, take a smaller brush, like the Princeton eight long round. You're gonna loosen up some of your gray. Black kind of color here. Make it a little bit light gray. Or you can add a little blue to that. I have a cobalt here. Make it on the blue tones. Make sure it's all dry. So now here, see it's very white still in here. You kind of kind of put it on one side, fill it in. So the sun's shining from the, the right. And that's just going to add another little dimension to your painting. So we did the credit card, which is kind of fun. And then we go back in and grab some of the gray tone. It could have a bluish tint to it. It could have a little more brown to it. I'm just going to go back in here and certain branches that would be underneath that would be kind of darker because it wouldn't be bright in here, would it? No, there's no sun shining on that. So kind of on the left side, just kind of fill it in and down bottom. So it looks a little more realistic. We're not going for super realism here. We're just going for somewhat 
but then you know it comes out fantastic simple techniques create a lot of fun I'm gonna go back up in here and add some of that gray tones just get those a little bit darker we've got our branches now you could have put some blue tones in the background before we splattered the yellow you don't have to just keep it like in this white kind of situation Maybe get a little bit darker on the bottom they kind of tend to get a little darker on the bottom probably because they're close to the ground and just fill that in and then we have our like less than 10 minute uh, brush tree well I feel like less than 10 minutes and then you can go in and add all the details if you want this is where it gets more advanced you're adding like you know um, some grasses if you want to do that up into the this area here on the bottom of the tree see some simple grasses play around with that could be brown could be beige see grab some yellow and some burnt umber burnt sienna do some nice little twigs kind of come in here grasses and that's why you get more expression but that's it so I hope you guys have fun trying to create something like this like I said it didn't take that long super easy a lot of fun playing with the credit cards you could fill it in more just go to town but I think it's kind of fun I just mix the lines you know a lot of people get like all bogged down about the lines it just takes the guessing work out of it and automatically makes a simple birch tree <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification please button, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Um, and if, if you haven't checked out my Patreon, check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos and, ex you know, exclusive tutorials over there. All right, thank you so much. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.